Hi, glad that you are watching Value Based FM video blog. For those who are watching for the first time, my name is Stephen Yi and I'm the author of the book Value Based Facility Management. I am committed to share at least once a month every Wednesday of the month on how FM can be a value add function and a business advantage to the organization. In the last VVFM video blog, I concluded the two parts on the essential processes of an integrated management system. In this blog, I will share on integrated processes documentation on how other management standards uh, can be combined with the FM management system ISO 41001. Here are some of the FM processes that may integrate FM with others such as the ISO 45001 for the Occupational Health and Safety ISO 40001 Environmental Management System. The processes are such as this Recent continuity process management review process internal audit process they have the similar uh, processes across this management system. Let me walk you through the steps so that when you understand how to develop one, you can develop for others as well. Okay, step one. State the name of the process, the owner and the version. Step two, state the input. In this example, I will be working on records control process. The input being the documented information, the information to be preserved. Step three is the flow of this record control. Step four, the output. Step five, the requirements. Okay, before I run too fast, let me emphasize the output will be what is expected to produce at the end of this uh, record control process. In this case, the output such as the, the records are organized and readily accessible, records are well kept, obsolete records are disposed. And for the step 5 requirements, it states that the record must be able to be available promptly. It must be able to measure and analyze past results Verify approval, which means who is authorized, traceable, and able to provide evidence of activities. Okay, so far, so good. Yes. Now, next, the criteria. What is the judgment okay, for this uh, process to be considered successful? That's where you state the criteria. For example, the records are identifiable and retrievable. Restricted and confidential information are secured. The operational record kept for three years. And legal compliance record kept for five years. And of course, all these criteria varies from organization to organization and wherever you are operating in, whichever countries that you are in. And now, the last step, step number seven, it states who are the key parties within the FM function. In this case, you have the FM head of department, the facilities uh, manager, the facility op officer, or some you may use the term supervisor, or facilities technician or operators. And you may adopt the RACI, who is responsible, accountable, consult, inform. 
or whichever responsibility metrics that you may adopt in your organization. Let's take a look how it looks like in a single page. Like this, a single page indicated processes document. And the intention for doing this is such that it provides clarity, consistency, and conformity to the ISO uh, management system standards. Now, I hope this video blog is useful to you. And if you are new, do subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you will be alerted whenever a new VBFM video blog is being uploaded. Please forward this video blog to your colleagues or friends in FM whom you think this VBFM video blog may be beneficial to them. A heads up for the next VBFM video blog. I will be announcing the launch of my fourth FM book and I'm excited to share with you. So stay tuned. I will see you this month, first Wednesday. Goodbye.